been on my walk today and I was just coming down through here and I found a couple of things that you could wildcraft. This right here is an edible weed. It's called purple dead nettle. It grows everywhere. It's probably in your backyard. See, this is just a uh, place alongside the walkway. And then not only do we have the purple dead nettle, but this. I know it just looks like grass. It's very straight. <clears throat> but honestly, I, I think this is like a bunch onion it's not a leak or a or a ramp or anything it's not wide enough it's very very thin should have an onion smell yep onion or garlic could be a garlic but you can eat these too if you like that stuff add it to your salad really good while you can forage this for food, it also has some medicinal benefits. Oh, by the way, these things can get like 8 or 10 inches tall. It grows in patches, generally speaking. And if I leave it all here and don't mow, there'll be a bunch of it growing right in this area. I've got it all over the yard. But, um... Even though you can eat it, it's good for you. You can also use it for medicinal purposes. Um, it's an astringent, diuretic, diaphoretic, purgative. It's also anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungical. You can use the leaves on external wounds or cuts. You can use it as a poultice. Or you can make salves. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry some of this and probably use it in my tea because it's such a nutritious food. A lot of people will give this or, um, <clears throat> or some other wild things that kind of look like this. There's nothing really that looks like this. I would suggest, though, if you ever decide to ingest something and you don't know, use your Google Lens on your phone. It will really help you identify some plants. A lot of times they're on the money, sometimes not. But just keep researching if you're not sure, instead of just eating and hoping for the best. Anyways, there's uh, one that looks similar, not really to me, but... I have been seeing this for years. Um, chickweed. Hen, hen bit. Anyways, everybody mows this stuff down just to get rid of it. But like I said, it's very nutritious. And it's great for the bees. The bees love it. Okay, so I brought a handful of this in. Uh, I'm actually on my back porch, and I'm going to wait a while before I bring it in because not only do the bees love this stuff, but the ants do too. And I don't know, can you see the little guys running? Anyways, by the time I take it in, I will have uh, probably put it in a bowl of water after I let these guys run, run away. Anyways, I'm just going to get ready and dissect some here so that you get a better understanding of what it looks like. There is the square stem. It's pretty well hollow. This one's a big fat stem. 
And the, these leaves hang down. They are spade shaped. Not really a stem on the stem, if you know what I mean. A stem holding that on. These are still pretty small, so they're not quite as fuzzy as you might find them as they get older. Nice thing about these is that this is one of the earliest um, picking plants, flowering plants that you can get, um, in at least in Ohio. I don't know about other states or countries but it's really fuzzy and i suppose it has a little bit of a lemon flavor but to me it doesn't taste like much at all i could throw it in a salad and be happy eating it it's the aftertaste the aftertaste tastes like dirt tastes like well beets if you like beets then you won't have a problem with it but what I'm going to end up doing with these is pulling off leaves and flowers and drying them. But I'm in the middle of doing some other things, and so I don't really have the time to do it right now. But later on I will, when I'm sure that a lot of the ants have left. Isn't it pretty? Most of the time, though, instead of being all perky and up like this, these leaves flow down, which is why they call it purple dead nettle. It looks like uh, nettle that might be dying. It's wilting. Anyways, more later.